Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching How to Get Away with Murder, Season 4, Episode 12. If you want to watch our uncut reactions, link to the Patreon is down below. Last episode, it was the custody hearing for Laurel's baby. Isaac went on the stand and Laurel's mum went on the stand and they were both quite ropey, but Laurel's mum's one went quite well. She was painted out to be a bad mother, but it put Laurel in a really good light because she practically like took care of her mum while she was still a child but Isaac on the other hand his whole statement got discredited because they've now reopened the case of the death of his daughter and he is a person of interest. Why did they have to reopen it now? I know it's all deliberate to discredit him but why bring up those open wounds for for the family, you know, of Stella. Isaac doesn't need this and I'm worried for him. We saw at the end there when Annalise tried to visit him that he was just slumped in his chair, sweating with his mouth open. So I hope he hasn't relapsed, but it's I'm not really looking good. Not. He's a really strong man, but I'm, I'm worried something like this that, you know, can reopen those old wounds and make him go back to his old ways. But as Body said, the evidence doesn't look good for him, but I have faith that he did not kill his daughter because Isaac is one of the like solid good people right now. <laughs> I know, I don't believe he did. I think it was a misunderstanding, like Jorge likes to say. Um, I think it was misunderstanding and I think it's a bad situation, bad place at the wrong time, I don't know. Laurel's mum is looking very suspicious now because very suspicious. Frank, or oh no, Bonnie, discovered that she has met up with Wes the day before his death. Laurel's dad has also planted that seed of doubt because he said that this is all a misunderstanding and I, oh I don't know, I believe him but I feel like I shouldn't. Bonnie keeps saying what if it's wrong, Frank keeps saying what if it isn't him? Now Laurel said at the end there, what if I'm all wrong? Yeah. Like, oh. like, please, can we just make up our minds? Is he guilty or not? I know. So hopefully uh, we get some answers as to why, or as to how, Laurel's mum knew Wes this episode because- This bitch is suspicious. <laughs> this bitch is suspicious and I don't, I am not gonna ah oh, over any sweet moments between her and Laurel because it all feels you know, fate to me now. It does, I know, it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. Like, mm. she looks so sincere and stuff, and I want to feel like she's a good person, you know, that she's better, she's better now. But I, I'm not believing it anymore. She's stroking her hair like an evil mastermind. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. Nate's dad is now going to be the face of Annalise's class action suit because it turned out that he had never been tested for mental health issues when he could have had an insanity plea all this time but all his other public defenders were just telling him to plead guilty so he is like the poster boy for a man broken by the system so he is he has agreed to be the front man of Annalise's case and I hope that this can help him and Nate Junior uh, develop their relationship a bit more because Nate hasn't seen him since he was 15 and I mean I don't know how old Nate is but I'm guessing that's like 25 years at least. Oh god he's got to be in his 30s now like at least <laughs> at least that's over 15 years you know he's like in his life he's been with Alison more than he has been with him mm. and it, you know, it breaks my heart to see these sort of things, you know, like that's your own father and when he was in there with Annalise and him, he was just calling him horrible names and he might not be able to help that because he may have had mental health issues. Now that he's on board, he can cooperate with Annalise and they can finally, like, let him out of prison. He's been there so long. Oh no. Were you staging your daughter's This is immediately after. I guess so. I'm gonna see what happened before Anthony saw him. Can I have that rap before? Coming up. Is that code? Oh. No! Is that a dodgy burger van? Is it like drug cartel slash burger van? Don't do this! Oh, I don't look. do it! No! Eat the fries! <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. This breaks my heart. 
He took five at once, is that safe? I suppose. His memories. And Laurel, can you let me know when you tell her? I'm not telling her. Oh, why? Right? What are you hey, doing? If your old mom's deal is, then tell her. You mean if you figure it out? Don't go telling Annalise who he is. Oh, he's not telling anyone about the body. Yeah. Where's this oh, shit? theory was completely wrong. Yeah, you're cleared to see old man Leahy every day this week. In the draft of my opening statement. We're going to dig in on that now. Uh, I have a question, actually. Do you plan on paying any of us for this? Michaela. As much as I wish I could reform the entire justice system on my own, I need help. The gang's back together. Back <laughs> kind of like they used to. I was thinking if we got Isaac's investigation dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you call me back last night? Uh, I was at my girlfriend's. Huh? That was, uh, that was not believable at all. I lied to you about where I was last night. Not about Stella. Never about Stella. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I need to do that, but... <laughs> I was here. I was high. I was sober for 23 years until last night, and I threw it all away. 23 years? Oh, maybe they weren't his drugs then. I think he needs a therapist. I'll go with you if that helps. You don't have to do that. I want to. They could be each other's sober buddies. And you didn't get into it? I'd already discovered well, vodka I kind of and about so it was good oh. to go. I know, in when it was, public. When it was literally, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. breakdown. When did you start? I tried things. He seems so normal now. Ten years later, I'm pretty much homeless. I'm not talking to my family. There's this girl in front of me. She's uh, trying to return some potato chips, saying that the bag was open. Oh, God, so he met his wife. She has this smile on her face that just... Uh... Oh, it's quite cute, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just went right through me. Got me clean. Wow. Went back to school. Had Stella. They must have been together for a long time. Buy me a drink. Or five. I'll tell you all of it. Point is, if what you is want this? Help, I could look over his file. Help you figure out the Annalise defense. Oh, we haven't even charged the guy yet. Then I'll help you figure out how to charge him. Who's this dude? <laughs> She's sweet talking to him and something. If you actually figure out how to charge the guy, he wants all the I'll buy you that drink. We do what I say. Sob story it is. See this boss in bed? I'm lucky. <laughs> Whose phone is he hacking? He's gonna be out. He and Bonnie still don't know why West left that voicemail. Tell Michaela to stay in her lane. <laughs> if you do anything to piss my father off right now, he's going to figure out a way to block me from seeing my son. I'll stop. Thank you. I'll put me back on the phone to all of us so I can figure this out. <laughs> I came home to a bill from the prison charging me thousands in court fees. I thought public defense was free. Talking about he wanted to see what the box I had inside of. He threw the first punch. I swear. I felt his skull crack under my fist. Oh. Do you remember how long he'd been in solitary before this happened? Oh. Month? No. A year. What? He had no track of time. It's good, right? Doesn't sound like me. That's what I told him. Thanks for your hard work, but I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> oh, this hard work, and she's just gonna wasted time. The attorney general sent me to notify you and Miss Keating that no trial will be happening here today. Excuse me. What? Governor and attorney general have clearly called in some backroom favors to make sure I don't get a chance to argue my Not case. Not true, Judge. As the petition states, the state supreme court has asked that both sides submit a written brief in lieu of a trial. How are they supposed to do it properly then? Stella passed three years ago today. Oh. That's the only reason she's gone. I'm too pissed. Uh, oh no, you don't get to be pissed not on a day like this. Needing 15 minutes to call 911. I'm just saying I need more time. Yeah, it's fine. How did he explain that At one least away? Let's go get that drink. Seven judges will read it, and we hope decide in our favor. I know how to take bad news. This is bad news. They just changed the rules. No trial, no witnesses. No, it's not monster. their fault. Crash a man's skull. I'll show you the paperwork if you don't believe me. No way in hell you don't put him on the stand. I ain't gotta look at no paperwork to know when I'm being played. Doesn't believe they believe in him. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I feel so bad for him. We're good. No. Oh. At least we'll agree with. 
with me. I think Annalise would also agree that this is my best batch of joy yet. The judge just emailed me and I get to meet my baby at the hospital tomorrow. Yay! 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 Yes! Yes! She calls Jorge every day this week. They're working together. What? <gasps> you have to tell Laurel. Not until after she meets the baby. She's working with Laurel's dad? They're both good. But if you had to choose, which is better? I helped on both versions, AK. Okay, <laughs> why is he keep calling her that? She yeah. never says bye, she just hangs off with everyone. Capex. Oh. Capex. It was Isaac's drug. Did you get still those drugs? She could have just found them and took them. I thought I hit him well. But she must have known something was up with me. You told me you'd been sober for 23 years. I lied. Oh. Was she trying to kill herself? I don't know. He doesn't even know. God. I knew the only thing worse than losing Stella was if Jacqueline would find out. Oh my god. He sort of covered it up a little bit. Oh, he texted the suicide note. <laughs> her mother still thinks those were her last words. Oh. You two talking about me. You can go now. We'll call when we're done. Mom, it's a special day. I want Frank here and begged him to tell the judge to let you meet your son on your own. Oh. She called Jorge every day this week. Is someone's phone bugged? <laughs> Was that all they talked about? Oh. I can't believe this is the first time she's Christopher. What? Christopher. Christopher. What? Christopher. His name is Christoph. So I want to call him Christopher. Oh. oh. We have to wrap up. Oh, I'll just leave time. I'm sorry. The judge has set very strict time limits. Oh, it's hardly anything, isn't it? But if they're seeing that she's cooperating, they might be more lenient. Why does her phone make the charging noise when she gets a text? <laughs> Maybe she said it like that. I'm with you. There's not enough to charge him. Yes. But I'd be an idiot to trust what you wrote. Oh. <laughs> I probably would have just let that case sit on my desk. But then you came in here smiling at me, which is weird for so many reasons. But really, it made me realize <laughs> that you're still working for Keating. Oh, no. So I went to Denver. And I told him to charge Dr. Roa with death by delivery. Oh. Maybe even murder too. What? What? You twat. So are you telling me if Bonnie never even went in there, he would have just left the case? This and every other conversation we've had since I've started working here will get leaked to the press. <laughs> You're bluffing. You'd be taking a big risk to test that theory, so here's what's going to happen. Drop your investigation into Isaac Roa. No arrest, no charge. So end the witch hunt or lose your election from jail. Yes, buddy. <laughs> Finally. We lost. What? what? No way. No, oh, really? All of that for nothing? Thank you. Oh, nothing, uh, Bonnie. Thank, Bonnie. Thank you. He looks weird. Thank you. Is he high? Oh, boy. Okay, is this a moment? <laughs> No, oh, no, 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 We're not good for each other. Of course we're not good for each other! He's been saying that all season. Here I am, I'm just sucked into your life! Everyone is a victim of getting sucked into Annalise's life. You wanna know how long it's been since I've You have one interaction with her and now you're sucked in. Because I haven't felt this bad since Stella died. That's because of you. I didn't ruin you. You were that way when we met probably your whole life. Jacqueline, this is Annalise Keating. Oh, oh God. All right, I'm with Isaac and he's relapsed and he needs you. Ask him about Stella. Oh. That was messy. You lying again? I was never lying to you. So we lost a trial. You said it wasn't happening in the first place? <laughs> he doesn't huh? understand. So no matter how hard you try to scare me away, I'm going to keep coming back here. Oh, he's Visiting actually going to fight for him. There's some light out of the situation. So you don't hate me? We're good now. This is Nate's best storyline yet. <laughs> I know. We lost, Michaela. Now we have to lick our wounds. 
That's called giving up. You might do that, but I don't. She's got drive. She's gonna do something. Come on, Michaela, we need help. If I take summer classes, I can catch up and be a 3L with the rest of you. I mean, it'll be a bitch juggling school and playing a wedding, but but I'll not. I mean, wedding. Wait. Wait. What do you say? You still want to marry me, Ollie? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! It was so out of the blue. And it's not the wedding. <laughs> Quick, get the bread tag! <laughs> oh my god, we've oh, actually got it. some hope! I know! Some good news! And then we just see hey, a gun. I want you to move back in. Really? Are you that scared? Denver's pissed. Just say yes. How'd you know Kristoff? Oh, he's going for a head on. People with power, people that have influence, fix problems. I know who that is. Ooh, Tegan. She was arguably the most powerful person in this country, and still, shockingly, she's agreed to come talk to us. And so, without this? further ado, I will <laughs> give you our newest <laughs> guest lecture. Oh, this is the scandal thing. Olivia Pope. It's lucky we've been told about the crossover because we would have been so confused. <laughs> that's so funny because that's exactly how Annalise was introduced in the first ever episode. Yeah, I wonder if this show is really like How to Get Away with Murder then. It's Scandal, right? Yeah. I've never watched it, so I'm kind of excited, you know? I am. <laughs> it's weird because the next episode we watch is going to be the Scandal episode. I think it's in like season seven, <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be very weird for us. We're not going to know any of the characters if there's a lot of like plot lines involved there, um, but we will be reacting to that. So kind of funny yeah. how they did a crossover episode. I wouldn't expect it from a show like this. No, crossover episodes are generally. I'm not really a fan if I haven't seen the other show because yeah. it's it's confusing when you don't know who these characters are and what, like, how it involves their storylines, but this show, it looks like it's going to be important to uh, the story if this woman is going to help Annalise with the class action, so yeah. hopefully it's more on the how to get away with murder side than the scandal side. <laughs> yeah, and this woman looks kind of badass, so mm, maybe she's yes. like a carbon copy of like Annalise, like she's really good in court and stuff. It's going to be weird seeing the characters interact with different people. I know, it's going to be a real change of scene and I'm I'm interested for it. I want to see how they do it. And hopefully it works because I can't believe they lost the case and they <sighs> like sent it off somewhere so it was only written notes. That was ridiculous for such a big case like this. You can't get their story out in just a few words. Exactly. How can you win just from writing on a bit of paper? You don't get the emotion and no. like a lot of stuff is ad-libbed so you think of stuff on the spot they had no chance isaac i kind of feel like that might be the end for him i don't know it was it was very like final car. yeah car like i feel so bad for him he's totally relapsed now and mm -hmm. all of this happened because of the threat of bringing Stella's case up again. I don't know if that makes him seem a little guilty doing that, but I guess if he is telling the truth about what happened, then he's really gone down a dark path and I hope he can get out of it. I also feel really bad because he's tried to cut off Annalise a few times now. She's come to him with all these problems and he's always been like, no, we're not good for each other, Annalise. I can't help you. Like, this isn't good for either of us. And she yeah. talks him into it with her, you know, expert speeches. And because he has a personal connection with her now. But now, staying in contact with her has caused him to relapse. And he's oh, putting yeah. all the blame on her when he would have been able to cut it off. Like, he could have just got her out of his life if he was strong enough but he wasn't so it's a shame that Annalise has this effect on people how does she manage to ruin people's lives so much he's really been dragged in the deep end and they have said before you know Isaac saying that they're not right for each other but yet he still kept coming back he has this connection with Annalise mm. and it's been mentioned before you don't quite know what it is, but there's something about them two that just sort of go together. They shared a little moment there, even though it was high. <laughs> but I, I really liked he... their friendship though. Yeah, I love their friendship. When he was 
sober. I just want him to get help so bad so we can get back to the way he was and see sense. I do doubt him now because obviously this Annalise was a trigger for him with regards to this relapse, but clearly he never got the proper help he needed because he was still relapsing. He's always been lying about being 23 years sober because he was doing drugs around the time of his daughter's death. And who knows yeah. if he's done more since then, he's just lying. So I think he probably was sober for a bit before he met Annalise and this has triggered it, but he could have relapsed in, we ha yeah, in we, any case. We have no idea when he went back to drugs or if he's ever been off them or yeah. how long he's been sober. And I, this always brings me back to one scene a couple episodes ago, ago where Annalise was like in a really bad way and Isaac kept pushing her and saying, you're going to drink again. You, you're gonna relapse again like they all do and stuff like that he was saying things like that and she's like stormed off and and i remember at the time we said he sort of it seems like he's talking about himself yeah and and saying no you're gonna relapse you're gonna go back to this it was like he needed her mm -hmm. and stuff it was a really weird scene from what i remember and it just brings me back to that because he, what if he was using then but just yeah. projecting it onto annalise I don't think he was using then, but I think he was worried that if he lost Annalise, he would start using again. There was so much pressure that came up and the stuff about his daughter's death resurfaced, so even her still being in his life caused him to relapse, so she is not the answer for the cure to his addiction. Body is uh, living life on the edge right now. She, she is was acting like really strange in that last scene, wasn't she? <laughs> She was really scared, like we we rarely see Bonnie that scared, but um, Black Bane in Denver, obviously it worked out for getting Isaac off the hook, but yeah. she is now on the hook because he might want to kill her because she has evidence against him. She literally told Denver, I know you've got it out for me, I know that you're plotting things against me and like you could set my house on fire and stuff. She's literally telling him everything and he's yeah. not denying any of it which sort of confirms the worst, that he does have it out for Bonnie and could possibly plot a kill on her. And yeah, I'm worried well, I mean, about her. Well, luckily Frank is moving back in. So, you know, Fronnie is back on. <laughs> Fronnie! <laughs> I'm liking Frank at the moment. He is head on. Well, kind of. I'm liking that he's so head on with, you know, wanting to get answers and stuff. But I don't like that he's doing it all by himself. <laughs> I know, well, he, you know, he can look after himself, he's a trained he assassin. <laughs> but I loved that scene at the end there where he literally just confronted Laurel's mum and was like, okay, what's the deal here? Because I can't figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> There's something about you that's really off and I can't put my finger on it. He's and just he's so totally straight right. up. Yeah, straight up. No messing around, no BS, just ask it. She'll probably deny everything, but I want to see what she says next up, you know, hopefully they include that. The thing is, I thought that was the reason why he wasn't telling Laurel, was because he didn't want her to confront her about it, because then she could just lie. But hopefully she does tell the truth. I don't think Frank wants to upset Laurel, really, mm. um, at the moment, especially where her baby is involved, like seeing him and everything. I think he just wants to get the answers first and then tell yeah. Laurel instead of coming at her with this evidence that isn't really backed up by anything. Probably wants the praise for figuring it all out. <laughs> <laughs> wants some brownie points. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of brownies, what was with Asher's sudden cooking fad this episode? I think it was just some really bizarre distraction for him. He was like, there has been too much, we've done all this work, and as she just and he just throws it away and wings it half the time. And yeah. I just want to bake cookies, snickerdoodles, all of that stuff. <laughs> but that impromptu proposal, on the other hand, I know. Heck yeah, <laughs> very impromptu. My God, Oliver didn't even know. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yeah, I go back to law school. Yeah, pay for the wedding. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> we are not engaged. But wow, that was amazing and i'm happy for them they deserve it we need Me some too. light i wonder i think it'll either be a rushed wedding and so they'll get married in the se season finale or like it might be 
next season's mid-season or something. Maybe, maybe. They might just, you know, go to Vegas, get married by an Elvis, you don't know. <laughs> if the engagement goes to plan, because they have called it off, like, twice already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I preferred the previous episode because of everything that was introduced, but I still like this episode. I think the information coming out and everything with the baby and stuff, it was a very interesting episode and I liked it. <laughs> I'm going to give it an 8.1, slightly below the last one. I think the last episode had more like um, developing plot points. Yeah, this was Whereas... a bit of a filler for me. Mm, it was kind of fillery but there was some important stuff that happened but i feel like it was one of those episodes where they're just gathering more information for the big the big moments in future episodes a standout scene was when laurel got to visit her baby and called it christopher oh yes that was my favorite part of this episode it was Me so too. sweet and what a perfect name in homage to wes the most perfect name perfect so that's it for today guys, thank you for watching our reaction to season 4 episode 12 of How to Get Away with Murder. If you want to watch our uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode 13. Bye! Bye.